Hey, Kenny. Hey, Chuck, uh, when, are you in the office today? No, I'm out at the park having fun in a RAV4. Uh, at least you're honest about it. Yeah. What are you doing out here? Well, I'm Toyota Chuck, so we go uh, and we play in the different Toyotas and see what they're capable of, see what the, uh, you know, fun little features are. You wouldn't happen to, I was looking for somebody else around the office too, you wouldn't have to have your uh, sidekick Gabrielle out there with you, would you? <laughs> Guilty. I was trying to be quiet so you wouldn't hear me, but yes, I am here as well. So you guys are in the uh, new RAV4? Yeah. Is that the Adventure? It is. Uh, All-wheel drive Adventure. It's... Uh, extremely capable off-road. It's a brand new design for 2019. All kinds of cool safety features and uh, really it stands for recreational activity vehicle and we wanted to take it out and have yeah. some fun with it. Yeah, see what it can do. So we're out here at Beckley Creek, a great place uh, to take the family to. It's kind of what the raft's all about and uh, just kind of exploring some of this park. I haven't been through this entrance before. Oh yeah, we came off of Shelbyville Road right off of the Gene Snyder. Got some great little fishing areas over here to the left. And then uh, if you're a kayaker, you can get a rack to put on top of this. This already has the crossbar roof rails on top. So you can load your kayak up, come down here. They got a little put in for uh, Beckley Creek, Floyd's Fork. Mm -hmm. Looks yeah. like we got about uh, five or six inches of rain here in the last few days at Louisville. So the, the creeks are all high. I'm not sure if we're going to be able to get that close to it, but we'll give it a shot today. Oh yeah, we'll see what we can do. Definitely try. Chuck, what's the biggest fish you've ever caught when you were out here fishing illegally? <laughs> it was a bull shark, actually. They, I don't know how it got... You know they can go in freshwater, so it was an actual, like, six-foot bull shark. It was, uh... Cool. Yeah, it was incredible. It was going after a kid, and I, I saved him. Oh, goodness. Yeah. Did you, really? With my bare Did hands. Did you save the puppy? Huh? The yeah. puppy as well? The, yeah, the puppy was Yeah, the puppy the and the kid. Yeah. Save them all. Uh, and... The, the way, if I remember the story correctly, you didn't even use a fishing pole. No, yeah, just barehanded it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That's everything I expected, sorry to Chuck. <laughs> so, Chuck, with the, uh, the RAV4, it's got some different off-road uh, capabilities as well, kind of like how the Tacoma does, like what I'm driving in right now, as well as the 4 runner. Oh, yeah. We've got uh, multi-terrain select, if you look down here. There's different drive modes, so there's a lot of cool features. So, you got Eco, which is going to help you save on uh, fuel. You've got your normal driving mode, which is everyday driving. Then you also got sport, which is going to give you a little bit more power. But then also, if you look right here, it uh, changes the traction control of the vehicle. You've got mud and sand for like wetter, you know, off-road conditions. And then you've got rock and dirt for, you know, a little bit drier off-road conditions as well. And so you can adjust this and then push it back to go normal. And it's like a multi-terrain select. It's going to change the way that the car uh, operates as far as traction control in the four-wheel drive system to give you maximum traction um, in this thing. This is by far the most off-road capable RAV4 Toyota has ever built. You know, what it kind of reminds me of, Chuck, is uh, that, that off-roading vehicle uh, video that we did down at the farm about, what, two or three months ago when we had an ice storm that day? Oh, yeah. Uh, we were using a lot of those features that day, weren't we? It makes it, it very, uh, you don't have to think about it. Like, it's uh, electronic. Uh, Toyota uh, makes such a smart. It's basically a off-road computer on wheels. But the great thing is you don't have to think about it. You just say where I am, what kind of the conditions are. You set it, and then it takes care of everything. This thing can send uh, power to all four tires, not only front to back, but also even like on a diagonal axis. Uh, we shot a quick video at the Speedway, as you'll remember, uh, that showed you know just one tire spinning. Whichever tire has traction, that's the one that's going to be getting the power. Yeah, that's, that's very unique with the vehicles. A lot of that comes from the TRD program. Most people don't realize that Toyota Racing Development, I think, what, about 19 years now, has been supplying uh, information to uh, the design of these vehicles to make them the most off-road capable with high residual values of all vehicles in the U.S. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, the RAV4 was the best-selling non-truck uh, in 2018, and that was the... Uh, you know the previous body style this is a brand new platform brand new style brand new off-road system there's a really cool thing here let me see if we can see this we're showing in the mid you can see the uh access let me make sure i'm staying straight it's showing the four-wheel drive and where it's sending power as needed so you'll see these blue bars go up and it's actually showing us where the car is sending power based on the driving conditions so when i accelerate 
flat surface. It's using all front wheel drive. When we were going up on that incline, it was sending power to all four wheels. So it's a really intuitive, uh, the car reacts to how you drive. So this thing's a lot of fun. Impressed. It is. Actually, there's the uh, old body style. There's the 2000. Yeah, actually, like it is. Oh, there you go. I'm actually surprised that we made it this far. Gabrielle, when you saw that dog, how did you keep your eyes on the road? I know. He was so cute, too. I just wanted to, like, jump out and, like, you know, give him snuggles. <laughs> Gabby's a pro. She can... I am a pro. She's here to perform. She's not... <laughs> She is our dog whisperer, there's no doubt. I uh, I do love the dogs. Chuck, Chuck, Chuck tap your brakes real quick. You see the pulse? All right, so could, yeah, could you explain what that is? That's, a, that's exclusive to Oxmoor Auto Group. Could you explain what just happened there? Yeah, pulse is a great safety system. So the Toyota RAV4, every single trim has the standard, I'm doing a little bit off-road here. It's a little bit wet, so change it to mud and sand. So uh, there's active front end uh, pre-collision safety system. So lane departure, lane tracing, dynamic radar cruise control. It also has uh, pre-collision with pedestrian detection, um, all kinds of cool front end safety features. But the thing that you don't think about is stuff that you can't control. So the car can help, you know, hopefully prevent your, uh, you know, causing a front end uh, wreck but there's nothing to protect you from somebody else hitting you. And so what Oxmoor uh, is doing is we've added this system, it's called Pulse, and it will actually, it doesn't flash, but it brightens the third brake light. It brightens it five times uh, very rapidly, and it goes back to its normal brightness. And it just, it's a better alert. There's studies have been proven that this catches people's attention to where um, they react and hopefully apply their brakes uh, in, case they're coming up on you too quick so it's just another added layer of safety uh in the vehicle so you have front end protection and then back end protection as well i got you no, I, 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 it's a really neat feature that you rarely see but like you said you can't control what happens behind you there's no safety system out there that does it knocks more is, is, is that another layer of that oh yeah uh, so fantastic stuff there and real so quick i want to i want to show you all something real quick on the camera so here in the mid so we set it I just moved this over to, all I did was twist it to the left to mud and sand because we're in some wet conditions. And then you look here, it's turned off traction control, so your normal traction control that you have, it's disengaged that, and then it's also disengaged our pre-collision system um, because we're going off-roading now, so it's assuming we're in control and it's just giving us more capabilities. And then we're set for mud and sand, so that's how you know it actually says mud and sand right there. So the traction is set up for specifically these conditions while we're off-road. And so uh, I just wanted to take us a little bit off-road. So this is a, like you said, we got about five to six inches of rain the past couple of days. And this road, or this field's pretty soaked. And so uh, without tearing up the property, I wanted to get out here on something a little bit tricky where we're going to be off-roading uh, just a little bit. So I'm just going to move around just a little bit. And it's sending power. It's showing me on the screen, and I can show this. So I'm turning a little. Let me get it in position. You can see. Where it's sending the for, where it's sending the power to the tires. So it's showing us that there on the screen as we're just kind of turning around. So some pretty cool features there. Yeah, it is. I, I remember actually from when we were up the speedway, and uh, we'll definitely have to put links in here to the four wheeling video and the speedway video for all of our fans. But uh, talking about the 203 horsepower in the RAV4. What's it up into the hybrid? Was it 216 on the hybrid? I believe so, yeah. Uh, new uh, XSC model is coming out. Actually, the most power and all of the uh, different trims is in the hybrid, which is, if you'd have told me that 10 years ago, I'd have said you were crazy, but Toyota's doing fantastic things with their hybrid drive systems. Yeah, and what's always important about the 203 horsepower, and I think it kind of shows itself a little bit here, is it also has the best fuel economy with also having a true eight-speed transmission as opposed to a CVT. For exactly. all the uh, mid-size SUV competitions, is that correct? Exactly. They're all, uh, in this segment, uh, our main competitors, they're all CVTs, while we still got the eight-speed automatic transmission. Yeah, so I feel like right now we should almost have like the Dukes of Hazard soundtrack playing right now, so <laughs> I don't want to get caught by the law too quickly, so we may want to move somewhere else, Chuck. Sounds good. Uh, we'll keep going. Um, still in the mud and sand mode. 
gonna try not to clip you here in the Tacoma off road. Kind of cool having a Tacoma off road uh, hanging right in there, but having the Rav4 hang with what a Tacoma off road can do. Oh, yeah. Even though it's just a flat field, if you were out here to try to walk around and it, you'd be uh, well over ankle deep in the stuff. Oh, yeah. Yep. My Corolla would be stuck. Yeah, I don't know if my Highlander could get through this. I, it might. It I forgot might. if yours is all wheel drive or. I don't think it is all wheel drive. I need to get another one that's all wheel drive though. Then I can hang with you guys. <laughs> <laughs> then you can join the club. <laughs> right, exactly. A four wheel drive club. <laughs> yep. Hey, so tell us a story about the uh, Oakwood uh, Monster. We're getting ready to head into Oakwood uh, Park here. It's part of the uh, park uh, connector. What's, uh, did you say you had a friend of a cousin who knew somebody that wants to have yeah, a, a, a friend's cousin. Public <laughs> yeah, a friend's cousin. It actually chased his car. It, like, got, it hit with its hoof like the back of the, uh, mm. it's like hoof hand thing. It hit the back of the truck. It was a like a Chrysler Celebrity, I think was the car. It was this old white bucket. That, yeah, if you, if you look to the right of the camera, you'll see the public bridge up there. We're going that way. Oh, that's where oh, we're going. 100? Oh, there's See, we're guys, look, look at that. Monster. The monster is what, half goat, half man? Yes. I think it only comes out at night, though. So I think we're good. It's nocturnal? Yeah. I, I think I so. No, that was I don't know. Every I don't know. Chuck says he thinks he saw it. So we may be in a lot of trouble. If you guys don't see us after this, just, I don't know, come out and look for us, please. <laughs> we'll come out with night vision uh, goggles. Mm -hmm. And uh, we'll, we'll look for you. I'm not saying we'll get you, but we'll look for you. <laughs> Yeah, Sounds he, good. He, he hangs out by the trestles. It's the by the man. trestles, okay. Oh, yeah. Okay. He hangs out by the Did, uh, did you all see the Pokemon monster? Because I think he shut down my cell phone charge. Yeah, that's how you know he's close by is when you lose reception. He's he's using his magic, his goat magic, to mm. block cell reception so he can't call for help, so he can eat you. <laughs> so, I can't believe we made it out of here. Thank, thank God we're in, like, off-road vehicles by Toyota. I know. More, usually they get stuck. Like, yeah. If we're in a different brand. Toyota saved our lives. Exactly. We, and Toyota does not endorse that. They don't protect you. They don't. <laughs> like legal said, you know, we can't tell people that we're going to protect them from the goat man of Pope Lake. Even though it's a feature, we're not going to, you know, because of legal reasons. Because people get eaten by the goat man every day. And that's just a lawsuit waiting to happen. This is true. All right. You know, I didn't even notice that mine went into goat man feature on my, my Tacoma. Did, did y'all go into goat man feature? It's, it's automatic. Yeah, it's like the auto high beams. Yeah, auto high beams where if you're 25 miles an hour at night and there's no headlights or taillights in front of you, it automatically kicks on. When, when you're within 100 feet going approximately 25 miles an hour or faster, the uh, goat man protection system automatically engages. Good to know. That's the model. Mm -hmm. Agreed. Similar feature. It does all of them, like the Jersey Devil, like, yeah, you name it. If you've got an urban legend monster, yeah, you're safe in a Toyota. The Mothman. So, should we take this up to West Virginia and see if the prophecies could, if Toyota could get us through the prophecies? I don't have any meetings scheduled today. We can go right now if we need to. Maybe I can talk to your boss or something and see if you could get that done. Gabby's the only one I'm worried about. She'll have to clear her schedule. That could take a while. Yeah, yeah. I'll try. I mean, how many different press conferences do you have to be up today, Gabby? Oh my god, I think it's like 10. Just a oh. lot. <laughs> yeah. It's a price of fame. I mean, it is. Not complaining, not complaining. Not complaining. All right, you guys, so we are at a stopping point. I'm actually able to get out of the 2019 Toyota RAV4, the adventure. Yep. Um, our boss was calling us, which was fun, but, you know, we probably should go back to work. Yeah, we but we, 
send out emails. Right, exactly. Sign some liability. Yes, so it's like we can't drive around forms. all day. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> we survived the, what is it called? The, the, the public pu monster. public monster. Yeah, he tried to get us with safety systems kicked in. And it did. Protected us. So. Yes, yes, very much. Now, Chuck, um, how did we do all that in this RAV4? Well, first of all, it's the uh, adventure. So this one um, has a special all-wheel drive system that we can customize. As you see, we went to mud. And, right. Uh, sand mode to help get us out of that, you know, sketchy area. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, we lost cell coverage. We didn't know where we were, but we the all-wheel drive got us through Poplick and uh, away safely from the monster. That has pedestrian detection, pre-collision system, also uh, Poplick monster detection system as well. So <laughs> uh, everything kept us safe the entire time. I, my driving was impeccable. I it was. I'll give you credit. I, I tried to roll us, and I just I was safe. Well, I, I'm pregnant, so that's great that he did it. Yes, correct. <laughs> So I was thinking about you. But normally you. I roll these all the time. I appreciate that. Thank yeah. you. Especially the Priuses and the other. Yeah. Yes, that's true. I have a habit of rolling these cars. I don't know. <laughs> Anyways. All right, you guys. Well, I hope you had a great time. Now, like we had previously mentioned, there will be a link to some of our off-roading videos and also the one at the track that we did a couple weeks ago. Mm -hmm. uh, so you guys, I hope you like this video and we'll see you all soon. Bye. Bye, guys.